Well, this is the time of year when many families get together to share laughter and love and to make memories that will last a lifetime. But think about the people who don't have a family to spend these precious moments with, particularly the children who are living in the foster care system. According to the Children's Bureau, nearly 400,000 children are living in the foster care system. Nearly 102,000 of these eligible kids are for adoption. But the Bureau reports 32% of them will wait more than three years before being connected with a permanent family. So what kind of impact does that have on the children? According to the Bureau, in 2012, more than 23,000 kids aged out of the foster care system with no emotional or financial support. The Bureau reports nearly 40% of these kids had been homeless. Nearly 60% of the young men had been convicted of a crime. And 50% of all of those who aged out were partaking in substance use. But there's a flip side to all of this. There are thousands of other foster children who do find a permanent home and are thriving. And our next guest is one of them, Destiny Ness of Hebron, joins us now with her adoptive mother, Amy. Ladies, thanks for coming in. Our pleasure. So you're here because tomorrow is National uh, Adoption Day. Uh, so Destiny, I want to start with you. Can you tell us your journey to becoming a part of the Ness family? Well, it all started being in and out of different moving different places, hopping systems, and then finally we ended up here in Salisbury and we had twin brothers that were born after we were out of the foster, we were in foster care, but we had, our brothers were born straight from the hospital, they went into foster care, and we were, me and my five siblings were living with our grandparents, mm -hmm. and so they, Amy and Scott would bring Brad and Chad, the twins that were born, to visits with us at our house and every time they would come and bring them we would have like an inkling that we wanted to be with them mm. and so then they would each time got worse and worse every time they brought Brad and Chad we always were like we want to go with you we want to go with you and so then finally my grandparents were taking us for unsupervised visits to our birth parents house and a social worker showed up and that's when they made some decisions that one weekend when we went for respite just to stay with the Nesses, then we got to be permanently placed with them. And Amy, you, Destiny is not your only adoptive child. You and your husband agreed to take in a set of siblings. Tell us about that. Yes, well we initially had taken in Destiny's um, twin baby brothers and then got to know them, mm -hmm. like she said, through visits. So there were seven of them total at that point, um, and when they needed a new placement and couldn't stay where they were at, we just felt like it was right to keep them all together, mm -hmm. so they came with us. <laughs> Why? Why did you feel like that was the right thing to do? Because it is the right thing to do. <laughs> it is, right. <laughs> and um, at the core of adoption or foster care is major loss for the children. They've lost their birth parents, and how tragic to then lose their siblings, too. I, I can't imagine the what they feel mm -hmm. in that moment. And it I didn't want to be a part of that. Yeah. So we advocated for and thankfully Wicomico DSS was very, very supportive of that decision. Um, in, and in keeping, wanting, they wanted to keep the children together. Yeah, yeah. And obviously you had them in foster care before deciding to adopt. What was that like? Uh, well, it, the goal was always reunification. Mm -hmm. and, um, but it was a relief when we knew that we were going to be able to adopt them. Mm -hmm. um, it gave closure to them and it let us move on into more permanency as to what our family was going to be. So what do you say to the people that think there's maybe a little too much red tape or bureaucracy involved with adopting or fostering a child? I can't speak to every situation in every case because every case is different. Um, in our case, it's a journey and there's lots of emotions that come with it and the thing you have to remember is that reunification is the goal, reunification of the children with their birth families. Um, and unfortunately that doesn't always work out and so there has to be plan B, which is adoption. And then that there is beauty in that because I gained beautiful children, wonderful children from that. Mm -hmm. um, so in our case it, it was fairly smooth. There wasn't a lot of red tape. So Destiny, tell us about how your life has changed through this journey. I just feel like I've overcome a lot of milestones, things that my birth parents are stuck in and the different traps that they're stuck in with the drugs and because being taken away, now that I'm adopted and been placed into a family that loves me, I've been able to thrive and 
graduate high school, which a lot of my family members haven't done, go to college, which none of them have done, get my own car, learn how to be financially stable, and just being able to thrive and always be happy. So what would your message be to another child out there? Maybe they're in foster care themselves. What would you say to them? Just to be patient and just to like, a lot of times a lot of issues can come up and crop up for a child because then they feel like they're not loved, they feel insecure, and I would just say to be patient and wait because there is somebody out there that will love you and just to grasp onto that and not be afraid to let them love you. I'll tell you, you can feel the love here. You, you, you really can. Guess. You guys haven't been together for your whole life. And you, you ladies, thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your story today. Well, perhaps you've thought of taking in or adopting a foster child. Up next, we learn more about the process. Maybe you want to add a cat or dog to the family. We'll have plenty to choose from in today's Pet Connect. Plus, the story of a local woman who had a passion for rescuing pets. Hear how she turned that passion into a career and why it's one your fur babies will love. Delmarva Life will be right back.